and this is Muhammad Ali's house. And we are not talking about the former Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, or Mehmet Ali, was born in Kavala, and he later became king of the Egyptian dynasty and one of the most powerful men in the last century. Kavala became an important trade and tobacco center as well as part of Europe under his rule. So that's Muhammad Ali, yes, not the fighter, not Cassius Clay. Yes, not the one that floats like a butterfly, still <laughs> like a beast. The and other that's one, correct. The Egyptian Pasha. And that was the woman's entrance. It was the um, running water of the house right there. It was the only house in Kavala that had running water at the time it was built, around 1780. Uh, and the rest was open view, they would see the Aegean from here, Tassos and uh, Samothraki. So it this was a gar open amazing. garden room. Yes, the enclosed courtyard of the ground floor area occupied by men only. Part of it was used as a stable. In the northeast corner was a small toilet, the only one in this part of the house, and the wooden stairs led to the first floor of the men's quarters. On the west wall, small revolving area there is where the women supplied the men with with food because of the strict separation of men and women's quarters in the house the women would put the food from the external side of the wall and the men would then receive it from the inside preventing eye contact and these stairs lead up to the harem of the harem Right, blocks and uh, used in the construction of this house were taken from ancient temples. Zeus holding what? Zeus holding an eagle. <gasps> oh, so this was one yes, I see right the feather. To the stairs there, it was used, you know, taken from an ancient temple that was right here in the area, mm -hmm. built inside the house. You know, not for a really um, a representing something or to trying to say something, mostly as uh, materials for uh, construction, but it's quite uh, interesting to see that. Absolutely. As Muhammad Ali was Pasha of Egypt, and his castle was in Alexandria, and he's also buried there. It says even now the influence of Muhammad Ali Pasha can be felt in Egyptian government and society. nice guest room that was used strictly for visitors. There's a small hallway leading to the bathroom and lavatory and on one side of the bath wall there's a built-in stone bench with two bowls set with a communication channel underneath connected to the fireplace and that's how they heated the hammam There is a, the fireplace has a small channel underneath it to heat the hammam. The harem had personal hygiene rooms, a sofa, all daily activities and services took place in here. Access into the harem was prohibited to all men except for the husband, father, brothers, and the eunuchs. And here's the men's quarters. The sofas are the slightly raised platform. Another wash basin it was used to dispose of water used in the house. At one time, there was a wooden box with holes on the surface. A pitcher with water or other liquids would be placed on top of it and through circulation of air from the holes they managed to keep their drinks cool. Very clever. Muhammad Ali's view was a lot nicer without the addition of cars in a parking lot below. Videos of photography is not allowed in the museum however they graciously gave me permission. Thank you so much.